Are you ready to transform your summer into an epic splash-tastic adventure? Say goodbye to wasteful, single-use water balloons and hello to the ultimate in reusable, eco-friendly fun with reusable water balloons. Check out the link in the video description to get yours on Amazon today. A mother who accused Qantas of giving a current affair host Alison Langdon special treatment on a flight from Sydney to Fiji has doubled down on her claims, despite admitting the star was lovely to everyone. Mother of five Courtney Bobbick, who was on the same flight as the Channel 9 presenter, claimed that passengers in economy had asked staff for wine during the flight but were told the beverage wasn't on offer. She said Allison, 45, was also seated in economy and was not only offered wine, but her children, son Mac, 7, and daughter Scout, four, were allowed to use the bathrooms in first class, but other youngsters were denied access. Ms. Bobbick's wild TikTok spray quickly unraveled after Daily Mail Australia revealed pictures of Langdon alongside her her husband Michael Willisey Jr. and their children dropping their bags at the business class check-in. Qantas also rubbished her claims, bluntly stating it was ridiculous to suggest Allison was given any special treatment. Any extras she was offered would be the same as we provide other similar frequent flyers way they travel with us, a spokesperson for the airline added. Our crew often say how nice Allison is to deal with and never wants a fuss. Despite this, Ms. Bobbick has doubled down on her claims and insisted that Langdon was given special treatment. She was lovely to everyone but still not right of the staff to the other people who were in the same class seat, Ms. Bobbick wrote on social media. In another comment she added, no judgment to Allison though she was lovely and that the special treatment from cabin crew didn't bother her. The remark prompted a woman claiming to be a former Qantas customer service manger to question Ms. Bobbick's claims. I have never experienced no alcohol being served on an international flight, she wrote. Sometimes there are shortages out of more isolated or smaller countries. Ms. Bobbick, a former primary school teacher turned social media influencer hit back at people who claimed she had not got her facts straight by insisting it was possible for Langdon to have used the business class check-in but still have been sat in economy. I wasn't the only one who witnessed it. Ms. Bobbick hit back at one critic. You think you can't get priority boarding in an economy seat? You clearly know nothing. She mocked another commenter, telling them, you clearly have never been in the FC, first class, lounge. It's possible for some Qantas frequent flyer members to take advantage of first class boarding and lounge access while still flying economy. Ms. Bobbick told another keyboard warrior to get a life. Daily Mail Australia approached Ms. Langdon for comment. Ms. Bobbick's original two-and-a-half-minute rant did not refer to Langdon by her full name. There was a famous person from 60 Minutes on the plane, I think her name is Allison. She didn't get a first-class seat, she got an economy seat, Courtney she said on TikTok. We flew Qantas. They were turning people down when they were asking for wine and that's fine. I didn't ask but I overheard a lot of people being rejected. But then they were offering her wine and handing it out in front of everyone else. So the people who were being declined alcohol had to sit and watch this famous lady be served alcohol when they bought the same ticket for the same price. The staff were treating her better than everyone else. It's just not fair. Why are these famous people getting treated better in front of you when you've both paid the same amount of money? If you're going to give someone special treatment just because you think they're famous, I think that's wrong. I don't understand what's going on with service these days. Langdon and Willisey Jr. tied the knot in 2008 after meeting for the first time at a Sydney bar. We were at a bar and this guy walked in and he had his red t-shirt and dark jeans and you just have that moment where you just have like an overwhelming physical attraction to someone? I just got hit by this, she previously said. Langdon recently revealed what she plans to do when she stops hosting ACA. She joined the program at the start of 2023, replacing Tracy Grimshaw after a three-year stint co-hosting the Today Show with Carl Stefanovic. In May, she said she hopes to stay on ACA for a while, and when she does eventually step aside, she intends to go back to university and start A.